All right, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna do a quick video. Let me turn this air down. Holy shit. I said it was cooling off in Alabama. Boy, was I wrong. Frickin' 94 today. Um, for those of you that don't understand what's going on, or for those of you that just subscribed to my channel, nailed it. Got it 100% accurate. Today, they're shaking just a few of you guys out. It's a slow bleed. The money was dumped in yesterday, financial institutions, right? Did we nail it or did we nail it? The reason they don't want to pull the entire carpet out today, this is a slow bleed. This is just a very slow ladder attack. The reason they're not going to pull all their money back out like really fast today is because they'll lose momentum going into Monday, and Monday's the Super Bowl. Monday, they have the full-on reason to trick every one of you out of your money and that is the financial report earnings report comes out monday so why would they pull all the money out today they're not going to this is what i'm talking about street smarts you guys got to understand you got to put your brain in their brain they're going to slowly bleed you down and you're going to be like oh man you know all that excitement you had yesterday you ain't got it today do you that's part of this that's why it's a very slow bleed very slow bleed like i said yesterday they're just going to shake the tree today that's it. They're just going to shake the tree and get a few of you out of here. Just start that negative train of thought, okay? And they want that negative train of thought to bleed into the entire ape army. So that come Monday, they got you thinking. They got you thinking Monday like, holy shit, this thing's going to sink Monday. I better be prepared because look what happened Friday. You see, that's the train of thought, man. So come Monday, that's when they really start pulling a good bit of money out to bulldoze this thing because they got all week to do it. They got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They can build up momentum going down. That's why they're not pulling all the money out today because, listen, if they did it today, you got the whole weekend to think about it and say, hmm, what do I want to do Monday? You got all weekend. They don't want that. When they start, when they start pulverizing this thing, they want five full days to destroy it. Five full days to scare the shit out of you. All right, so that's what's going on. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to tell anybody, but I did a 30, th uh, the easiest day trade that I saw just sitting there. Okay. I did a 33, 32. It was only a $1 trade. I set the sell at 33 and I put the buy back at 32 and I just set my phone down and I didn't even know if it was going to fill or not fill. Cause I'm at my restaurant today, busting my ass. And when I picked my phone up, it filled the whole thing filled, hit that 32, it took the 33, dropped the 32, right back up. Now it's going back to freaking 33. I might even be able to do this one more time before the day's over. Don't do it. All right. Don't do this shit. Cause man, you guys it's very risky, very risky with everything else that's going on right now. So I'm not saying that this is advice. So I'm just telling you what I did. Anyway, the SEC wants to shut guys like me and Trey and everybody else down. And, um, for some of you guys are be being like, why are you throwing Trey under the bus? Um, it must have something to do with the Robin Hood statement. I said, guys, I don't even, I love Trey. Me and Trey are good, man. We, we don't ever have bad words amongst us. But apparently he must have done a video about Robin Hood. And I dissed Robin Hood and y'all thought I was dissing Trey. Or some of you morons thought I was dissing. Not my good peeps, man. Some of you new folks coming around here like, why are you dissing Trey? Freaking love Trey, man. Not dissing Trey. But I don't watch. Now, if I watch somebody else's videos... It screws with my train of thought. That's why I can't watch anybody else's videos on YouTube. Because everybody else has their own theories and then I have mine and my shit seems to be coming true. So I don't watch anybody else's. You know, all this technical analysis. It's like I say, guys. Technical analysis is the book smarts behind it. But you better have some street smarts to understand why the money is fluctuating the way, the way it's fluctuating. Why did all the money go in tomorrow? Where's it going to be Monday? You've got to have street smarts to understand this shit. I watched, I watched the charts today. That's how I knew. Look, if you were watching charts today, you knew to sell at 33 and buy back in at 32. It was a guarantee. That's where book smarts come into play. Okay, that's how I nailed today's trade. I'm back in, bada boom, bada bing. It was easy. It was easy. But the street smarts tell me now, they kick in and they're like, don't get too greedy because this thing is about to fall apart and then blow up. So... You don't want to be stuck in the middle of this thing falling apart and blowing up. So when she cooled off and she slowed down a little bit, that was it. I made my buck. You know what I'm saying? I got my buck trade and I'm happy. I'm done. 
okay? Like I said, if I see one more, but market's about to close, so I'm probably not going to get another one in today. And then I let this thing ride out Monday, and I just sit back, and I watch all the shit go down. I'm going to watch all the shit go down Monday. I'm going to watch the report come in. I'm going to watch everybody respond. I'm going to watch shit. Go, I'm going to watch people chase. I'm going to watch it sell off. I'm going to watch Citadel pull money out. You guys knew there's a, you guys know there's new financial institutions that are also shorting this stock now. So it's getting bulldozed in every direction. Monday, I don't want no part of it. Monday, I'm chilling. I ain't doing a damn thing with this stock come Monday other than sitting back and learning. I'm going to learn some shit off of this come Monday. Taking notes Monday is what I'm doing. All right? So anyhow, that's it for the weekend, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more AMC uh, videos, because there's really nothing else to talk about, um, other than if it closes in some really erratic manner, then I might do one more video, but I don't see that happening. So anyhow, y'all enjoy your weekend. Friday, baby, 94 degrees in Alabama, and I got to work. I'm working my freaking restaurant this weekend. It's all good, though. We got to make that money. Y'all enjoy your freaking Friday. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shaboom! Peace!